A cry for help? Patients have now lost hope over healthcare practitioners of Bilonomi Hospital. For many, it has been a nightmare. Samuel Ndakakats is one of the patients who have been waiting to undergo surgery for the longest time. For him, it's been hard to bear. On the 1st of February, they admit me. On the 17th, they said I must staff for three days. I staff, I did listen what they said to me. After three days, they cancelled my operation. They didn't tell me why they cancelled my operation. On the 17th, they said to me I must staff again for three days. I do the same thing. I didn't eat for three days. Kabe Longwedi is a grade 10 learner who has not attended school this year as he is waiting to be operated on. Soon all I want is to be operated so that I can attend school. They are telling me that the year is still long. I will catch up. Patients say the situation is dire and want to go back home to their families. They are hoping for an immediate intervention. She says they haven't checked me. After that, they put cast and have been waiting until today. I started in Zabelo and I was told to rather come here. It was on the 13th of January. Up until now, I am still waiting to get help. My doctor put me in the ward from the second until now. Some other people who found me here have left. Health department admits that it has a challenge of staff shortage. They say they have taken other patients to Albert and Zula Hospital to speed up the process. I tried to get the management of the hospital to attend to this, explain them. And they did explain to me that, you know, uh, there are people that would be scheduled uh, for an operation. And on the time, uh, because they don't eat the, the previous day, uh, by the time they get to the, to the, to the operate, operating theatres, they are then cancelled because a much more serious emergency uh, has come through. The Department of Health says there is backlog which is caused by prioritizing life-threatening operations. Apumelele Mzalane, SABC News, Bloomfontein.